Well, it's Friday now. Just got off work and came up to see what the progress is. And he's got all of the uh, debris pushed over here down the road. We'll go take a look at that in a second. Now he is digging out uh, the house seat itself and he's going to use the bulldozer in a bit to push that down the hill. So let's go up here and take a look at that. swapping machines out now he's on the dozer gonna push some of the dirt that he just uh, scooped up uh, down the hill here Let's walk down the little road here and see where he is storing all of this dirt. So he was saying that uh, there's so many roots and branches and trees in this uh, dirt that you can't really use it for anything and it's just going to um, sink over time. So he's just plopped it all in here for uh, just a place to store it. So yeah, pretty good. I'd say uh, it's piled up somewhere around five feet from where it was down there. That completes day one with the bulldozer. Let's take a look up here to see what all was accomplished. So he just uh, smoothed out everything down here. We were just talking, um, there's a flag right in here that I had marked originally. It was 100 foot from the property line. He's thinking about uh, cutting in there and then up. And I may put my workshop uh, back here on the back side of the house instead of um, back here. So um, we'll just get into it and see how it looks whenever that happens. But let's take a look up here. It's nice and smooth. He was just saying uh, probably come down at least three more feet. Uh, from where we have this spot So he just kind of Started and you can see he's come down I'd say it's an easy uh, seven foot up there from where I am now So if you came down three more feet, you're looking at I'd say somewhere around here It's kind of hard to tell for you on the camera, but um, so the house spot would be more like in here instead of up in there. As long as it's not raining, we'll be back out here this coming Monday and we'll get some more work done. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you very much for watching this modular home series. If you live in the Western North Carolina area, and you're looking to purchase a modular home of your own, 
I highly recommend you check out Home Crafters. We're pleased with their purchase and they've been real good to us. Also, they have a nice referral program. So mention Seth and Ashley and we'll all get a nice kickback from that. So I will put a link to them in the description for you to check out. If you've enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you click over here or the link in the description to the next part. And uh, as always, remember to push that thumbs up button and subscribe because lots of videos on the way. Hope to see you there. Bye.